After my airport shuttle overbooked themselves and almost made me hitchhike, my hotel canceling the booking of a fellow passenger with very short notice, and the eventual cancellation of the day tour, that was pretty much the reason why I came to Haida Gwaii. I was left stranded in a village of 800 people in paradise. Well, not until I realized that there is a business in Queen Charlotte that rents out bicycles. But hey, guess what? I just rented a bicycle. Yeah, so today I'm just gonna ride a bicycle all the way to the skating gate and uh, um, take a look over there. Well, it's kind of funny, isn't it, that uh, when I was in Vancouver, I rode my bike to the Stanley Park totem poles, and I believe skating gate they have totem poles too, and Haida Gwaii is kind of known as the home to many totem poles. Well, I guess that's just uh, the circle of life. Now I'm riding a bicycle, seeing the real deal here in Haida Gwaii. compare this bike to the bike I have at home, but the view here is so much better. Again, it didn't take me long to see bald eagles once again. Now I am kind of glad that I didn't end up staying in Queen Charlotte and watching the bald eagles all day. You can find them outside the village as well. Today is a sunny day, it's a beautiful day, but it's also very windy. Now you can absolutely imagine what it feels like to uh, ride a bicycle along the beautiful coastline of Grand Island here in Paraguay. So that's the dock we are uh, we took the ferry from the airport on Morsby Island but today we're not going back to the airport yeah so we're just gonna continue to skid gate yeah I'm glad I actually rented the bicycle because according to Google Maps it would have been a uh, well at least an hour walk from Queen Charlotte here yeah, and it only took me about 20 minutes to get here once passing through the BC ferries terminal you'll be in the territories of skid gate one of the two major Haida communities in Haida Gwaii. Okay, so everyone just arrived at the uh, Haida Heritage and Cultural Center. So once you pass the uh, Skidigate Landing, that's where you uh, uh, take the ferry to the airport or even mainland uh, Prince Rupert. Uh, so shortly after that stop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of buildings that resembles the traditional First Nations Houses, and so this is, uh, I guess, the best place on the island to learn about the Haida culture, uh, you know, if your time is limited. And this is also where the uh, Parks Canada office is located, so if you're interested in exploring the uh, uh, Gwai Hainas National Park on your own, yeah, this is a place where you have to get a permit, orientation, and registration. Inside the cultural center, there is a very good museum with amazing exhibitions. Unfortunately, filming or photography is not allowed inside. For what I've learned from there, I'll gradually share with you as we continue our Haida Gwaii adventure. But for this episode, we'll explore the outdoors exhibition of this excellent cultural center. If you have watched our episode in Alert Bay, where we discussed about the nature of totem poles, you know that the First Nations of the Pacific Coast believe that nothing lasts forever. There is no need to repair a pole or re-erect them in case a pole falls to the ground. Everything is part of the nature and eventually their true destiny was to return to earth. Haidas also hold the same belief. That's why even the totem poles here at the cultural center were left exactly how they're supposed to be.
One thing unique about Haida totem poles is that you often see the depiction of one mythical figure, the Haida Watchmen. These watchmen serve as guardians, watching over the sacred land and the Haida people. The Haida Heritage Center sometimes hosts outdoor projects, workshops, and events where you can learn more about the Haida Nation. One of the most iconic things you can associate with the Haida Nation is the war canoe. Like its name suggests, the Haida Nation in history were famous for raiding and looting other bands and even the British colonies on the BC mainland. Nicknamed the Vikings of the Pacific Northwest, the Haidas were a fierce force in the region, and its master craftsmanship in making war canoes certainly contributed to that reputation. Yeah, the Haida people are very famous for their craftsmanship of uh, making uh, large canoes. So uh, those canoes, uh, like the ones behind me, they can load up to uh, 20 people. And back in the days, this was the main uh, mode of transportation uh, between the villages uh, in the Haida Gwaii area. And also uh, it was used for uh, fishing and the ceremonial functions as well. So if you recall the uh, uh, artwork, Spirit of the Haida people, again, that's the artwork you see at the Vancouver International Airport. So that specific artwork actually depicts how the Haida people thrived uh, with canoes uh, like the one behind me. If you are fascinated by these canoes, the Haida Heritage Center is the place where you can spend all the time you want to closely examine the war canoes. If you're lucky, you might even get to talk to a canoe maker and witness some of the key steps to make these amazing boats. Other than the amazing cultural things you can learn, the Haida Cultural Center provides a good place to enjoy some picnic and beach access. The views are just stunning. I was kind of glad that I made my way here. Now I prefer to sit at the Haida Cultural Center all day rather than in Queen Charlotte. Overall, I highly recommend visiting the Haida Heritage Center, especially if you don't have the means of transportation to travel to every single region of Haida Gwaii. It's easy to rent a bike in Queen Charlotte or Sandspit, and there are also plenty of places for you to lock your bike at the Heritage Center. Alright, so that uh, concludes our visit to the Haida Cultural Center. Yeah, so I ended up spending more than two hours here. Other than the sitting of the place is absolutely spectacular. Uh, there is also an uh, indoor exhibition that unfortunately you cannot uh, take photo. Yeah, however, it was also very fantastic, well worth the $16 ticket price, and there are actually uh, some real totem poles that were uh, taken straight from the villages. Um, some of the totem poles dated all the way back to the 1800s. So if you are here, I highly recommend checking out this place. Let's continue our bicycle adventure here in paradise. You'll see the village of Skidgate in the distance. However, 
the views were really amazing from that curve. And I can tell you, yes, you will have time to see everything in a day in Skategate, and it's okay to slow down and enjoy the views. Yeah, so uh, the town behind me, uh, that's uh, Skategate. So uh, I'm almost about to reach uh, the destination of this uh, bike tour. Yeah, I would say uh, so far cycling around Haida Gwaii is so much more enjoyable than Stanley Park. Yeah, so right now is 1 p.m. I just got into Skidigate. Unfortunately, there isn't a single restaurant that's open, so I found uh, the only supermarket uh, in town. It turns out they do have a deli, and uh, just got myself a uh, three-piece fried chicken dinner, and uh, we'll see how it goes. There we go. So this is the fork for the, for the coleslaw, right? That's right here. And also some fried chicken and uh, potato wedges. Yes, for some reason it's awfully windy here, so I'm just gonna try out the potato wedges. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, 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 hi hola. The potato wedges, pretty good. I gave it an A. Plus. See, that's a problem with that. That from all those fries from KFC Burger King is just so bad. I don't know why. I guess shame on them, you know, if they can make food this simple, this delicious, and healthier. Yeah, trust me, they're gonna be way more popular than they are right now. Okay, let's now try out the fried chicken. Again, this might expect expectation. So much better than KFC. Chaya, and the whole thing is a lot cheaper than KFC too. Wow. I think I came to the right place. I'm so glad I came to uh, this uh, supermarket in Skedigat. Now let's try the coastal, even though it's just a little bit. But uh, I'm excited already. All right. Hmm. It's pretty good. I thought it was going to be some uh, generic supermarket coleslaw, but uh, it just tastes a little bit fresher, freshier, fresher, freshier. Overall, very satisfied with lunch today, and I look forward to more adventure after this. To be honest, I didn't know at the time what kind of adventure was ahead. Ironically, outside the supermarket, the wall featured a picture of the ancient village I wasn't able to go because of the tour cancellation on that day. Also around that time, I received an email from the tour operator that the tour of Skangwe, the ancient Haida village and the UNESCO World Heritage Site, would be rescheduled after my planned trip to Northern Graham Island. But for now, our impromptu bike trip to Skidigate is not over yet. What's gonna happen next? Follow me to the next episode. Is there a bear's gonna come?
Lord Mayor's.